So I posted an ad for Banan Neutro, a coffee or tea alternative from the early 1900s. I have to admit, I was pretty intrigued originally about this idea of banana coffee, but became more intrigued when I had evidence that people were actually drinking it. For example, it showed up as an after dinner drink option at the annual banquet for the New York County Prohibitionist meeting in 1910. I wanted to try it. I wanted to taste and experience what they tasted and experienced back in 1910. But we don't have Banana Neutro anymore. I can't go out and buy it. So I decided to make it myself. I bought some bananas. I found the patent from back in 1912 and followed the directions as closely as I could. Of course, I needed a little help, so I brought my assistant to help me make it. We will come back here and taste it and let you know how it goes. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Okay, we are likely the first people in over 100 years to try banana coffee. Are you ready? Okay, cheers. What do you think? Try it. Like bananas. Like bananas. It tastes exactly like the roasted bananas smelled, which by the way, fill the house. That smell is very, very strong in this coffee. It's sweet, it's not too sweet. Um, it almost tastes like a baked potato, specifically the part that gets a bit caramelized, maybe a little brown or black. That's what I'm picking, but it's not too bitter. I think I could have used more grounds with the same amount of water. I made it just like I made coffee and I let it steep for about four minutes. A little more grounds would have made it a little bit stronger, but not too bitter. I think I would try this if I had the option. If I was at a prohibitionist meeting, I would maybe choose this as an option over coffee, especially if it was late and I didn't want the caffeine to keep me up. So as the world's only self-proclaimed connoisseur of banana coffee, I'm going to give this a three out of five. Cheers. I'm going to get your pinky out. Oh, okay. 